Hello everybody. In this section we'll be talking about limits ad infinity and vertical asymptotes. Let's, let's first start out by looking at uh, the function y equals 1 over x squared. Its graph looks like this and notice we're going to take the limit as x approaches 0. Well as we approach 0 from either side, the left or the right, notice the function ascends indefinitely from the left and the right. The function just seems to go up the closer we get to zero on the x-axis. It just keeps going up and up and up. And we would see it approach the y-axis as we extend it indefinitely. This is what we call a limit at infinity. In this case, positive infinity. So that is true for this function. The limit as x approaches zero of one over x squared equals infinity. And it leads us to what we think of vertical asymptotes. In this problem we do have a vertical asymptote at x equals zero. If the limit of a function as x approaches some number a is infinite, then x equals a is in fact a vertical asymptote. Okay, let's look at this example here where we have the function y equals one over x minus two. And we're gonna approach this function. Um, we'll approach two from the left. So notice as we get close to 2 from the left, it goes down forever. Here we have negative infinity. And then we go from the right, the same function, approach 2 from the right, it goes up forever, positive infinity. So it is worth looking at the graphs of these to answer the question about where is uh, where, what is the uh, function approaching? Is it positive infinity or negative infinity? Notice if we try substitution on these we get undefined. Back up here 1 over 0 would be undefined. Again we'd have 1 over 0 by plugging 2 in for x. So anytime we have a, a constant over 0 and undefined there's most likely a vertical asymptote. Not always, but it's worth looking at the graph and seeing for yourself what's happening. Vertical asymptotes can be found by setting the denominator equal to zero and solving for x after reducing the rational function. So you may be asked to find a problem where here's a fun rational function, find the vertical asymptotes. Well, <clears throat> before we instantly set this denominator equal to zero, let's go ahead and simplify if possible. Turns out that this function does reduce by factoring. We can factor a three out of the numerator and we'd be left with x squared minus 2x minus 3. The denominator is a quadratic trinomial that does factor. x and x and we need factors of negative 2 that add up to negative 1. Well that would be negative 2 and positive 1. Now still not done. This numerator does factor even further first write what we have. x plus 1 and x minus 2. Alright, now we ask ourselves what factors of negative 3 add up to negative 2? Well that would be negative 3 and positive 1. Alright, and as we can see here these x, this x plus 1 terms simplify, they cancel out so to speak. Then we're left with 3 and x minus 3 all over x minus 2. Alright, we have our denominator. It's, this is what's left, x minus 2. I'm going to work on that out to the side here. Set that equal to 0. And a vertical asymptote is happening at 2 that would be our vertical asymptote right here. Go on and graph this if we need to. We would see it has this general shape. There we go. See our vertical asymptote is happening here at 2. So if we took the limit of this function as x approaches 2 from the left, it would be positive infinity. The limit as x approaches 2 from the right would be negative infinity. And there we are.